Hello everyone, this is 23rd April 2021. Today I am thinking to prune all my 9 barks and uh, Wiesel. I put only one which is on my west side, back side of the house. But uh, I have 4 more of each of them on the east side. So I thought of uh, trimming those. So just I want to show you before trimming how they look. They also stay only few days so if this week I miss then we will miss the bloom only we will be seeing the leaves uh, rest of the year <laughs> so here it is this is the first nine bar this is two years old uh, in my garden I don't know how many years ago they planted this and uh, last last year uh, I planted at that time I think there are only three uh, stem only three branches so last year they multiplied few more so i can roughly say three three six nah. so there are eight i i think so let me trim them so i am not an expert but roughly i think one third i'm going to cut so let me start from the longest branch this is the longest let me cut here so because I cut it there, I will cut the other one little bit smaller. And then then this one. Yeah. Each time I cut I feel little sad, but then only they will be healthier than new suits. I cut that one west side of this uh, flowering um, crab apple and then the east side of crab apple is this one is second one this this is one year old I mean this I planted last uh, December so let me trim this one so this much I like each branch top one third uh, length I cut it so that is my rough calculation because it is only one year old kind of like in my garden just I planted last December so the roots uh, have not gone much much deeper so I don't want to trim it hard so thinking that I did like this see this forsythia here now they are covering with leaves maybe two three more days the flowers will there will be there so I trimmed that uh, nine bark and uh, that is west side of this plum tree now east side of that the plum tree is this one i'm going to this is also i planted in december so i'll trim i'll trim the same way top the one third of, uh, length i thought it is only few branches so i can also show you while doing this is my longest branch so let me keep that little longer these plants were like this the big 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 plant these were yeah that's it so it is around the um, this is also but it didn't bloom then this is the plum plant that i had mentioned earlier one of my friend gifted me so here next to this daffodil this is um uh, veronica 
pink potion veronica i have planted in each each tree is under each trees i have planted one veronica and that is a uh, one variety of uh, iris now i don't remember the color that is another uh, iris so here here it has iris and those are those are um, uh, but butterfly weed i think they say and um, iris so iris daffodil daffodil iris pink potion veronica and butterfly weed here is the status of the um, i am also excited about this tree because this is first time they are bloom that i am seeing the um, birds i mean flower this is uh, eastern red bird i forgot the name other day this is eastern red bird tree so last year there was no flower at all so this year and these are the leaves if you can see this is this, this is the leaf let me show you see this is the leaf this is the leaf bud so this is my another uh, nine bark summer wine nine bark so all are not summer wine there are two variety of nine bark that i have planted let me trim this so here I trimmed one third of the top part. This much branch I removed. Next to that nine bark is uh, this is the very end of the east side, the um, magnolia. I think magnolia are. So she, they have more blooms today. climbing rose i planted i think now it is already more one and a half week so that day it was a very bad weather so and yesterday it was very very cold even i checked in the store they had covered their uh, which are not uh, which cannot tolerate the weather uh, in the 31 32 degree or below 30 so they had covered everything so after yesterday's weather This is my third purple leaf uh, plum plant, right side of the wisteria. Um, my neighbor uh, lawnmower is making very huge sound, so I thought of putting voice over. It was too loud to hear, so you cannot uh, you cannot listen what I am talking about. So I am putting voice voice over for this part. They are um, two years old. My first one is, uh, I think, uh, four, four, five years old. But this is two years old. So this is their, I think, uh, third season. So I thought, let me show you the bloom. That was the climbing rose I sowed, the California climbing rose I planted. Then south side of that purple leaf uh, uh, bloom that I showed you is this uh, um, dark pink uh, multi-layered hibiscus which one day I told you the story. Um, I transplanted it from the my rectangle garden where I have a lot of hostas. Um, from there uh, uh, 
I, because it needed a more space, so I transplanted it uh, last to last year. So last year it grew a lot and it bloomed very well. Lot of flowers. I can say nearly sorry, nearly 60, 70 flowers I saw last year. So because I'm here, I thought let me trim this also. So before I trim and make it smaller size, just I want to show you the original size. So this is how it looks. I trimmed almost each branch one third, uh, one third length from the top. This is another nine bark on the um, south side of my garden behind these um, behind that uh, honey crisp uh, apple that is honey crisp apple and uh, in front of that honey crisp apple that is also a nine bark which is two years old so um, sorry that is one year old so last to last year when i planted on the other side in your crab apple one uh, nine bark then i sh i like the foliage when they grew so to make a symmetrical i uh, chose that as mirror mirror uh, spot of the previous one and i planted that one also and then uh, i found more uh, in the um, december i found more and uh, more of nine barks of different variety uh, right now I don't remember the name but not all are not nine bark sorry all are not summer wine nine bark so this is uh, this and the previous one which is my first nine bark that is summer wine so one summer wine variety I planted here and last last year uh, on the other previous one so they they too are summer wine but the uh, five more i bought last year those are two are summer wine three are i forgot the name another variety so this is the other variety uh, i planted because i thought this side i already have one summer wine nine bark and this is the other one so now let me trim it before i trim just see how it is so it was this size also when i planted only the new leaves uh, came so I'm going to again do my same logic top uh, uh, one third uh, branch I'm going to cut top one third branch I'm going to cut so this is how it is looking after I trimmed the top uh, one third portion they look very healthy but like I said um they are in this uh, spot not for many years just few months and also just the winter so the roots may not have gone deeper to make it healthy to keep it healthy so if i decrease the new branches then it will maintain the energy to produce stronger branches then this is the in front of that honey crisp um, apple so this is my last nine bark i believe to be trimmed so this is how big it is now and i remember it had only two branches last year so the rest three it grew last year i mean in the yeah i remember it had only two so the first one i bought it had three branches is this one had two branches so let me trim it so here I did it and now it looks like that. This is my first uh, Weisella uh, wine and roses I believe its name. So this is three years old. So um, the past two years it bloomed and it grew this much. The, the, the top 40% you are seeing they are all new growth. So one day I already trimmed it that's why you can see the sharp cutting edges. And uh, behind that uh, purple leaf plum that I showed you, which is blooming, this is my third one. Uh, as I count, that is second. So this is third one. So uh, behind that or in front, whatever you can mention, I planted one uh, Weisella here. This is not uh, wine and roses. This is a different variety. 
so one i planted here and uh, one i planted here so kind of uh, i tried to maintain the same distance from this second little bit you can see 10 degree angle it's not exactly in the front of that uh, um, purple leaf uh, plant uh, so it is 10 or 15 degree angle uh, this one so with time it will grow i believe uh, uh, 5 or 6 feet tall and wide so it is a very pretty plant and that's what i know but i learned uh, in america only in uh, india i have i know how about it so and this is the one because i am here i thought okay let me trim this also and uh, both are alive because i saw uh, new new branches coming from the Mm, yeah they are if you can notice so let me trim these two put it like this i'm not sure it looks like most of the branches is uh, dry, uh, dead the top branches but still i i want to wait little more if the uh, they will uh, have still the shoots coming out so i left it like this i can hear see the new shoots those green green so i can hear to the left side of that wist wisteria let me trim this one now so like this because uh, the same way i told about the other plant that um, i'm not sure if the branches are completely dead so i will leave it like this and if they are completely dead and no branches are coming from this then i will i may clean them later then i came to this uh, daffodil garden yesterday in the heavy cold and wind see the branches they have how they have broken all the branches so they are only touching the ground all the flowers so now i will uh, this is my last plant i'm uh, going to trim this is the check mark trilogy wisella so let me trim this before i trim just see how it is this will be also i believe nearly 6 feet uh, tall and wide that's why thinking that i left it is space so that uh, that space so that it can have enough space to grow so this much i left i am not an expert i am just trying my best based on my knowledge so i just wanted to share all these uh, what i am doing so that later if i am able to develop a beautiful garden then uh, you can see which plant i trimmed how and uh, because kind of all plants are new right in my garden when i moved to this um, house it was completely only lawn so each plant is new so i'm trying to share as much as i can so that's it for today thank you for watching